COVID-19 has slowed the world down, and that on the surface seems to be a good thing for that other deadly global crisis, climate change. Thanks to COVID-19 shutdowns, roads were empty, factories shut down, less people were out and about. Global economic activity has been put into an induced coma. Bad for the world economy, but from a climate perspective, the coronavirus pandemic is not entirely negative. Environmental activists might actually rejoice. Could the corona crisis eventually be good for the environment? In Italy, where people have been living in lockdown for weeks, traffic has nearly stopped and nitrogen dioxide levels have clearly dropped. Thick smog has given way to blue skies. The water in its many canals, usually dull and murky as a result of the many boats, is suddenly clear. We just saw some of the positive effects in inverted commas of this pandemic on the environment. It's really difficult to talk about silver linings or to kind of celebrate these lockdowns. You can understand people celebrating this partially. You can stop all flights. You can lock down entire countries. You can actually do that. And uh, life goes on in some way. We never want to see these kinds of environmental benefits coming along with such tremendous human suffering. And we know that they're temporary. So yes, we are seeing significant emissions reductions. But before we all start celebrating, remember that none of these environmental gains are expected to last. The coronavirus pandemic has come with one unintended but welcome consequence, the decline in carbon dioxide emissions. Uh, what we're seeing are great changes in the environment, but we're paying a heavy price for that. Uh, pollution has gone down around 30 to 40 percent, but the air quality is wonderful, the water quality is wonderful, and carbon dioxide is projected to go down the emissions by around 5 or 6 percent this year. Because in order to reach our goals in the Paris Agreement, keeping the Earth's temperature rise less than 2 degrees Celsius, so about 3 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit, we need to do 5 or 6 percent reductions year over year over year.